Here we go. Will Sage give us some awesome wisdom from his protoss? I don't know. We're going to find out pretty soon here, Artosis. Certainly we are. It's good to see some of these um, players we don't know a lot about and see that they're actually people that are in Code A and Code S. Or, excuse me, they're not in Code A and Code S. That are just so good. Yes. Some of these players are going to be people we're going to see uh, in future uh, deep in Code S to future GSL tournaments. Yeah, yeah. A lot of these players still have a lot of growing to do. Taste this is Sage. I think he's, this is a guy that might be in Code A soon, I think. Yeah. Well, the countdown has just concluded. That's right. It's they time. didn't expect that. They thought I was going to say it was done. No. It's concluded. It, it has concluded. It's finished. And now the game has started, so let's get this going here. Protoss versus Terran. Let's see if Sage's PDT is as wacky as Protoss versus Zerg right now. And here we go, down in the bottom left of Sunlaga Fortress, a great Protoss. And this is Sage. Some may say he's even sagely. His cool plays and interesting strategies and scouting a lot. Up here we have a Terran player that we have not seen a whole lot of. ASD Puyu. I, I believe he is the guy that took out Slayer's Boxer. I haven't watched that match yet. Not completely sure. We're behind right now since that vacation there's we had. There's a lot of games to catch up on, man. Yeah, man. There's so much StarCraft. Code S, Code A, Team League, GSL. Doing all sorts of stuff. All right. The probe is now moving out. Yeah. Now, I, I want to... You, you've already touched on this a little bit, but I want to reiterate this. This Protoss actually scouts more than any... A Protoss I've seen. More than any non-Artosis Protoss that I've seen. More than any non-Artosis Protoss. And also note, um, his play style is really interesting. I mean, yeah. you, can, you can see that Zarg actually was very good at dealing with it, but eventually just got worn down. Well, he seems to have actually uh, a pretty high understanding of the basics of an RTS game. He's doing things like taxing his opponent's multitasking by hitting multiple locations. He's doing things like... Uh, Harassing mainly with Zoats to save gas for the higher tech units. Yeah. He's doing things like keeping active units out on the map. Yeah. He's actually using a lot of the basics, which really builds a strong player in the future. Maybe he's not the best player yet, but if he keeps playing like this, one day this guy will be an unbelievable beast. Yeah, I mean, especially with the whole taxing your opponent's multitasking, mm -hmm. that's so good. And some Scouting people cannot cool. multitask. When they're being attacked yeah. a lot, they just shut off. That's very true. It takes a very, excuse me, a very special type of player and to we sort saw, of deal with all that. Go ahead. We saw that game, in fact. The Zerg kind of, his brain shut off eventually. He just, he fell apart everywhere at once. He just couldn't keep up with it anymore. And yeah. that, that absolutely happens. So, just awesomely impressed by Sage. He is definitely a Protoss I will be watching in the future. So, two gases for our Protoss, two barracks for our Terran. The two barracks play getting more and more popular nowadays. Now, if Sage actually, let's see, what has he seen exactly? He did he not see the add-on. He has no idea. He hasn't yeah. seen the add-on. He hasn't seen anything but the wall. Never saw the same barracks, even though it's very close. He started after his probe was sent away. What's so. this SCV doing? He's just going to hide this? What you know, what, making what, of the racks? One thing that's important to note is actually um, the... Team um, uh, Boyu, when they were watching, they noticed this guy scouts a lot. Mm. And and a trying deep. to gain information here. A little bit sloppy there. Oh, he's a lot of health on that stalker. Not what you want to do. I'm gonna go ahead and check exactly what he saw, if anything new. Yeah, he saw the second barracks. That was worth it. He it should not have made the second barracks that close. No, that was actually That's a really bad decision. It was pointless to make it there. And actually, why would you do it? No, it's Give me a good no need. I can't, yeah. can't do it. Oh, well, it's a quicker rally. That's the only one we got. <laughs> um, yeah, but generally with these builds, yeah, people, no, people tend to just go to the front, contain, and expand. It's not a build that's actually meant to absolutely. kill the guy. Um, so we do have concussive shells on the way. That Okay, hold on. 
is Sage going to Gate Robo? Yeah, actually he is, guys. That is my favorite build. I'm so excited. This guy, I'm falling in love right now. Alicia, watch out. Sage is high on your heels. And uh, this is just basically the most safe you can possibly be. He can get out observers, and Immortal just stops any rush like this. Without the yeah. Marauders, the rush does zero. And the Immortals take care of that very, very simply. He's warping in plenty of sentries to be safe. Just awesome, awesome play. Getting ready to expand even. He realizes, hey, you know, with these sentries, and as long as I hold off this first little bit, I'm going to be completely fine. And you know what's uh, also important to notice? Protoss did see himself get scanned. Yeah. And that almost always means, if you, could, if you could scan, that almost always means your opponent's either about to move out or has moved out. Yeah. And here we go. Will he have to cancel that? I think he will. Yeah, he definitely This will. might have been just a little bit too quick of an expand. I feel like one more warp gate round, he would have been fine. Oh, but he, nice micro there, Ooh. setting us all it up. Good move so far. Loses one sentry. Yeah, he's got to be careful about that, but so far, peeling apart, make sure you target that immortal. As long as you target that immortal, you oh. do well. Oh, oh, he's going to get it. Sage might have been a little bit too greedy here. Oh my god, the Immortal actually lived. Great job there with that Immortal pullback. He's got to be pretty careful here. Oh my god, the bunker finished. Oh! And the Immortal was killed. Everything is taking a lot of damage here. Not a lot of range units left. And actually, uh-oh, Tasteless. ASD can absolutely break this little army. Yeah. He's not got a lot of energy left. He is making another Immortal. But it's going to take too long. This is this is a very bad spot to be in. More and more units being rallied down while he's building a command center at home. Good uh, move, bringing out the probes. Very needed. Not a very useful force field. He may have wanted to wait for wait for guardian shield there, but uh, the probes are coming out. ASD is doing a really good job. He's controlling his army yeah. really well. Another sentry here. He's got to be careful not to lose that. Sentries just die so quickly. And it's smart of him to take this pylon on as well. Anything that's going to stop warpins there. And oh, the another Immortal's immortal. out. So he should hold this. It should be pretty much over at this point. It's about time for ASD to actually pull back. He's done a ton of damage. He should feel really good about himself. Give himself a pat on the back. He's up at 31 SCVs against 30 probes. Normally, the Protoss should have, you know, about five more probes right now. Yeah, with Chrono Boost and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, he's he's done his damage. It's time to try to get more ahead. It's time to play safe and not it's, overextend. It's also the sign of a good player. He didn't keep on attacking. Yeah. Like, oh, I could get this Nexus. I could do this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I got to tell you, Sage, I, I like everything I saw. I felt the Nexus was just a little bit too quick, and it definitely was a little too quick. If he makes maybe another round of units, he's fine. Yeah, completely fine and holds that. In fact, we saw when he kind of stalled out and tried to wait for those two zealots anyways. So, uh, but he, he got the damage dealt to him because of that. Uh, note, he did save up a little bit of energy there. Not sure if that was intentional or not in the Terran's base. Um, he may want to make a bunch more units and then try to scan again and see the army, army composition. It's weird if you see an immortal come out because then you're like, well, is he going to go Colossus? Because he doesn't yeah. have to. No, no. He doesn't have to. It's just kind of a great unit to have against something like that. And it Not looks like he's actually deciding to potentially attack here. He has Stim, man. This could be brutal. Yeah, I was going to say, with the Observer there, I'm surprised he moved out like that. Combat Shield's just finished. Stim is done. Concussive Shells are done. And uh, ASD is looking pretty good. Uh, pretty solid. There is a Twilight Council on the way. There it is. Getting charged immediately. All right. Forge as well. That's a, a good move to do in this situation because he knows he's a little bit behind. And if the Terran missteps once and you have a bunch of uh, charged zealots, you just crack their skull taste. Just oh, bam. easily, man. Oops, you messed up. Hi. LOLs. So uh, it's it's a good, good idea, I think. Sage is in sort of a weird spot because he cannot expand right now. Yeah. And Sage Terran, Terran would actually walk and, and, and kill him, so he's probably going to wait for Sage to expand. So right now, Terran is sort of in charge in this game right now. Certainly. He has map control. He's walking out there. Scout with the factory a little bit. Not even sure if there will be any drops tried yet. Base is under attack. Going over, hitting that uh, factory a little bit. And nice. Cute little move right there. Burn to Guardian Shield. Yep. And he was maybe trying to lure some force fields as well. May as well poke a little bit. It's fine. He has plenty of energy on those medivacs to stim and do such things. 
Another command center on the way. Ooh, I really like that. Good timing on it. And it looks like he wa wants to actually engage, but I don't know about that. He actually doesn't have a lot of zealots for having charge. Well, and with two medevacs there, even if he throws some good force fields, the medevacs can just pick oh! him up. Oh! Nice targeting. Takes it out with three units still left inside. Warps and zealots. Perfectly done by Sage. Very nice. Beautiful, beautiful move right there. That's the type of thing he needs to do, man. And suddenly he's in the supply lead. Taryn a little bit too greedy with that. Yeah. You know, when someone's sitting on two base, that's exactly when you don't want to draw. I wonder if uh, the Guardian Shield stuff was to make it look like the Protoss might have had more than the Terran was seen. If you know it what was, I mean? That would actually was. be like the smartest thing ever. That's like 900 IQ right there. Because, I, you know, I saw the Guardian Shield. I'm like, really? You're going to engage in that? And then when the Terran's like, oh, he's, he actually wants to engage me, that means that... I am, he must have nothing in his main. I'm fascinated by what you just said. If that is what was going through Sage's mind, he is he is going to be in Code S sooner than later. Yeah, no kidding. Well, All right. Ghost Academy is up. We do have some ghosts being made. Psystorm being researched. Third base going up. ASDF Taren, moving out. Pretty move. Pretty, uh... Pretty confident here. I do like the cuteness uh, with the ASD and then F for Foyu. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I quite like stuff like that as well, Tasteless. But if he switches teams, like to Slayers, does he become Slayers ASDF? Or is he he has to become ASD. Slayers ASDF, man. I think so. I agree with you on that. All right. Taryn again going to move out here. Still very confident. A lot of sentries. Not very well positioned here, sort of in the front. A probe was up there as well as that pylon, so he already knows exactly what's going on. He continues to scout. In fact, if you look on the mini map, he has little green dots, observers all over the place. Yeah, he's he so actually good. sees everything. This guy, he's a player that likes intel, which makes him smart. Yeah, knowing is, and I'm not just saying it because GI Joe's, you know, hit it in my head as a child. It's half the battle taste. So if you it know is. what's happening, you can fight against it. You get surprised. You might just lose. You might just win. Who knows? I don't flip coins, well, Tasteless. You know, the sign of a really good player. I'm not half face, Tasteless. No, oh, man. Yeah. Half face? No. Two face? Two face. Ah, I you messed said up. half face. Oh, you're such a jobber, man. It's oh, two face. I feel so dumb. All right, he's guardian shielding. So, let's gotta see. He's got to be careful, though. Very clumped on the sentries. Sentries very clumped right now. Uh oh, some of his units actually attacking these uh, little structures up here he shouldn't be. Using nice up his feedback. charges on SCVs. No, Sage. Very dangerous. Nice size storm. So he has actually a lot of high templars here. Beautiful there. Beautifully done. And just pummeling through everything. Kills basically all the SCVs at the expansion. He's got to be careful though. It's mostly sentries yeah, left over right now. And bam. Down goes about five sentries right there. He gets the seconds. immortal. He stayed just a little bit too long in that part of the battle. Nothing else being warped in. Well, he's warped in zealous later on. He might actually kill this. Forth. He will kill that. Now Archons do a lot of damage. Wow. And despite some tiny little flaws in his battle management there, crushes through ASDF. And ASDF lost the orbital. So, I mean, he has to start over from scratch. Sage might even be able to squeeze out a fourth base. Whoa, that would be crazy. Think about that, Artosis. Think from here, I macro a little bit. Yeah, throwing up some extra gates. Very smart. Getting his upgrades still going. He is at 1-1 one, one with plus 2 armor on the way. 1-1 one, one for our Terran player with he plus is, 2 attack on the way. Uh, he is getting Colossus, too. Yeah. It's always nice to switch over. When you see a lot of ghosts, switch right over to Colossus. Yep. And you're going to feel like Prince. In fact, he's going for a second robot. Oh, my God. I'm this like, guy is I'm actually good. got a sick crush on this guy right now, he's man. Good, he's good, man. He's just playing it so smartly. It's such... He's so intelligent in the way he's playing. Is this guy Sage from StarCraft 1? It was like a sage. So. I don't think so. You don't think so? All right. Now, let's see here. Ghosts gathering up. That is actually a very good point, Artosis made. If you see um, Colossus, I mean, if you see Ghost, excuse me, get Colossus. Yeah, and he switches over to two Robo Colossus. Sometimes is... you can't really stop from being EMP'd. You know? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You have to accept it. He is going to land EMPs on you. Also, note, he's doing a good job keeping Templars in the main so he can feedback. Yeah, that's pretty uh, awesome. Medivac drops. Also, yes, taking that fourth thesis as you wish. Very nice. 
And even if you don't kill the medevac, it no longer heals stuff. It has yeah, energy. exactly. So it's just so completely worth it to feed back. He's still got great observer coverage, as we see. The Hostel team is just like all smiles right now, Artosis. Oh, they should be, man. Sage is actually ripping nerds' heads off and eating their brains to try to absorb their knowledge, but it's just not big enough because his knowledge is so large. Yeah. It's just not working, man. All right. Uh, more Colossus on the way here. Protoss is basically max. It's yeah, a 190. I mean, 190 max. to 138. He can actually... He might actually just want to try to bludgeon I'd him. probably wait for my next Colossus and just go kill him. All right, here he we go. Spread out High Templars. Very well done. Oh. Storm's nice. two Marauders. Well, he had to. He would have... He wanted to get him to turn around. A lot of ghosts in there. Got to spread your High Templars a little bit more than that. A lot a bit more than that. A lot of it. Protoss probably should attack here. Another Nexus as, on the way. As it's expanded. We do have a little a drop, little drop. the third. Uh, we'll get a shot at the bottom right. There it is. Killed off a good number of probes. It's a pretty nice little drop. It's dead now, though, isn't it, Tasteless? It's deaded. Still no blink. It's kind of fine, though. He's well, using high templars instead in of stalkers. Minute here. We have a third base going up to the... Well, that's actually going to be a fourth. Now, with Psy Storm, it's actually pretty easy to kill a planetary. You just storm all the SCVs for period. Mm. Target fire it down. And here he goes, leading with some Archons. All right, here come the Ghosts. He's gonna and be this, is, this is actually, his units are all over the place, Stasis, but he has so much more, it might not matter. If be very careful attacking when an orbital is around. All right, a Misty MP there. Two Misty MPs on that and one Templar. Actually, really, is his... Army management there was quite bad, I have to well, say. Well, he does get uh, to do it one more time. He's just going to yeah. remax out here, probably chrono boosting I his mean, uh, warp gates. He'll probably still take it, but throwing away some high Templars and Colossus, half his army attacking the, the planetary, not the way you want to go about this. All right, and here he comes. targeting it now. That is the one way to let someone come back. And he gets it. Oh, he does get it. It, it is gone. That's smart. He's just going to go back and macro up. Nice feedback. Nice, size storms. storms. Killing everything under that. 186 supply to 137. A single Colossus just flanked. Yeah, we you saw You guys it. didn't see it. It was cute, though. Like, walked right into an army. Dum 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 dum. Now, uh, he needs to identify that this expansion's open here. That's a hidden X spell. That's why he has an orbital there. And he's actually going to get rid of a bunch of his probes. See, he says, well, you know what? I don't need workers anymore. I'm so ahead. Well, he's, I'm he's got 82 right now against 36 SCVs. He is maxed out. And here we go, going once again, but Zealot's all stuck behind. And here come the probes. This is actually pretty effective. I mean, the Marauders will attack the probes, and the probes are on attack. That's quite true. They do very little damage to them as well. But uh, he might have enough to actually hold this off. You know, the High Templars are yeah. pretty much gone. No more Colossi. And Marauders are some good against Stalkers, but there seems to be too many. Yep. And One that's more Zealots coming in. Should be in. GG number two here. Wow, really well played. Sage was very, very good. One of the yeah. best Protosses I've ever seen. He is smart, man. One of the smartest I've seen. He is a Sage. Seems to be. Well, expect GG any second, guys. There's no way Terry can recover from this. Protoss, free of all his supply by uh, sacking those probes. He can just keep sending uh, units over there. GG. G. Wow. Wow. I have almost nothing but positive things to say about Sage. Look at this guy. He's he good. Ooh. He's not happy, is he? No, of course not. Well, he's Actually, like, oh, crap, devastated. we're supposed to beat these guys. Now we're down two games. Show his jacket is off. Where did he come out? Could be. All right, well, this is a big moment for the Hostel team. They're basically halfway there. Yeah, they are. I mean, if he wins one more game, they, they have enough good players. You could bust out a son or, you know, somebody oh, else. Absolutely. Try to close it out. Von Von Son, very upset ASTF here. Yep, crushing defeat He kind of looks here. like I'm MVP, by the way. He does okay. look a little bit like MVP. Well, we're going to have to see uh, who they're going to bring out next. Who do you think? Uh... 
I would actually say Lenog now. I would bring a bring a Protoss. Bring a Protoss. I think that after watching those two matchups, he played a Zerg and a Protoss. He's smarter than too many players. He's just he's so smart. I don't know that you can actually. I don't know. If, I'll Protoss, play this Protoss guy. There's not a lot of room to outsmart. Yeah, it's you know, it's a little so, bit more brute force. If you just do like yeah. a really well executed four hit, you might just kill him. It yeah. might just happen. And it's very hard to scout. He scouts a lot. It's very hard to scout in that matchup. I think a Protoss is the right way to try to take out Sage. I agree. Well, let's see though. You could try let's SC see. as well. I mean, SC is just very good. Just like That's, get this guy out. I think they'll save him for last, though, right? Well, He's probably so judging from what Choya said, but like things are starting to get a little bit weird. These are these are two pretty intense. Complicated high level games. Mm. I mean, you know, SC only has so much stamina as well. I don't think they can really bank on him just being worn out right Fair now. Enough. You know you know what I'm talking no, about? I like totally get you. He's playing very well. The only other thing Sages. about putting SC out right now that I'm a little bit scared about, Son is really good PvT, man. Now that's a good point. He's it's really good Son PvT. is I was thinking he would be a PB like a SC sniper. Or Terran sniper basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. I just feel like Sage, man. I don't know who's going to outsmart him on the FOU team. I don't know I either, really don't, actually. I, like, SC might just outbrood him of pure skill, but for, for brains, I think Sage is actually one of the smarter players on either team. In fact, I think he's the smartest oh, on either team. Oh, we see movement. What's happening? Will it be? It's going to be Lenok. Ah. Oh, it is SC. You're right, Tasis. SC. Tasis, you are actually kicking some ass at predicting who's going to actually you. come out. I Good didn't work. ask for these powers, Artosis. All right. Well, right now, Sage is probably on a big high. I mean, he's looking like a complete badass in this game. Interesting map choice here, by the way, by SC. It is actually going to be Crossfire. And Crossfire is a game that we, 99.9% .9 of the time at pro level, see Marine Siege Tank all in or semi all in. Where you yeah. just try to take the high ground, you try to kill him. We almost never see anything else. Will a C play like that? He could. This is going to be interesting, Artosis. It certainly is. I'm actually really excited for this game. I want to see, because SC is actually one of the best players in the world. Let's just put that out there. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. He's so underrated, despite having amazing performances time and time again. He's one of the very best he's in the world. one of the people that is just not talked about enough. Yeah. Well, he, his style actually isn't all that exciting. You know, he's not like this huge stylistic guy like a lot of these top players are. He's actually just like, hey, I'm really solid. I'm really good at everything. Yeah, like, he's, well, he's, cool. he's very well-rounded, mm -hmm. but in kind of a... I guess you could say, yeah, in a little bit more of a generic way. I, although I do love his uh, three base pushes. So yeah, he's he got very, very ones. scary ones. Just the, his, his macro his during it is going. so good. Yeah. Well, all right, well, look, man, if, if SC loses, this is going to be an upset. I think if SC loses, I'm calling right now, there's no way for Bogey to recover. Yeah, man, even Lean Off can't go through that many really good Protosses. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's tough. So I think uh, everybody in the room sort of knows that too. No, this is this is the clutch game of the series. This is the one that like both teams are like, all right, this is where we make our stand. Exactly. All right. SC's like, leave it to me, leave it to me. It's actually Sans and Stalker. <laughs> he's again, he's actually just like now out as a Korean guy. In fact, wasn't that match SC against Sans? Um, that epic, epic Terminus Re TVP? Yeah, it might have been. I think it, it actually was, was. It was on Terminus Re, that's for sure. Yeah. All right, the game has started. This is probably going to be our most pivotal uh, match in this team league here. Night, it's basically really. their strongest players coming out here because right now, Foyu doesn't know how to stop this Protoss. Let's see what happens.